Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Roxy. Roxy's moving away just as I start the camera. But today I wanted to do um, sort of a Lego City update, but actually make it more of a Lego City goals update. Uh, just goals for the next week, moving into the future here, the very near future, not distant, distant future. And she has a Frisbee, so that noise you hear in the background is going to be her with a Frisbee. It's about walk time, but we have contractors and plumbers and HVAC guys here during the day now. So it's extremely loud and they like to sing along to music. So it makes it extremely tough to uh, film a video when you have um, uh, rock songs being sung poorly in the background. So I thought I would just show you kind of what our like work area looks like at this point. There's Danger Cat, who is the reason why our city is not where I'd like it to be right now, which is on this table. But as you can see, um, we have a lot going on, even down on the floor. And I'm gonna show you why. We have I had a little funny incident here. We're trying to get back into building our modules and we had all the orders come in for Brickling for our Mills plates that I'll go into more detail about in another video. But what we actually did was make a Mills plate and then we opened up our new inbox sealed fire brigade and that's set 10197 and so my husband was really looking forward to building this and as you can see we have a chunk of it built here well actually we have it all built um but we can't finish it because we were actually missing what seems to be an entire small bag of bag one uh lots of little pieces nothing expensive or specialty all the minifigures are in the bags, um, everything like that, but just a small bag did not make it into this set and it included things like one by two dark blue gray jumpers, one by two dark blue gray uh, plates, you know, just kind of little things, even, even like the yellow cylinders. For some reason, I have no yellow cylinders, so we had to just go with red. Uh, but we then, you know, got out all of our spare Lego and I found some pretty, I feel like challenging pieces in my Lego collection to uh, sub back into this, which is why you see this um, giant bag of bricks here out on the floor. I, this, many of these bricks are five to 10 years old. And then we have these parts and pieces collections here and they've gotten all mixed up over time, but this is like how I like to store little pieces, especially things like connectors and um, bits and pieces like that. So we were able to come up with a ton because we do have, you know, a decent parts collection. Once our garage is made into a studio, we'll be able to really sort it out, but we spent hours just finding what we needed for, uh, to finish off as much as we could, and then we're gonna need to order the rest for sure. So let's see what else we have going on over here. Um, these are all the bags for the Mills plates that I'll be making. And we'll sit down and have a little chitty chat chat about those in just a minute here. I'm going to clean off this table and get myself a little bit organized. Uh, if we go around here, some more of those bags of things we're working on. And then I'm working on some new road plate ideas over here. More Bricklink orders with pieces and super funny. I ordered this uh, like light bluish gray or light gray from Lego. And then I ordered dark blue gray tiles from Brickling. So now I have to make a decision. Is it going to be light blue gray or is it going to be dark blue gray on the sidewalk? So just playing around with a sidewalk design. And this is the new road plate on top of a base plate to give it that Mills plate style. And so I just kind of need to finalize the idea with the white line on the side or the sidewalk colors. There's a lot to think about there. And I just placed another Bricklink order uh, to trying out some different styles there. Obviously black and blue are not going to be the color choice, but I didn't have, I have zero of all the bricks I have, I have zero one by anything dark blue gray. So we kind of just went with what we had there to try out the, the uh, building system. And then over here we have the windows that we need to do the alternate build on the Disney castle, which is the costume shop. So I'm pretty excited about that. We opened those up just to see what they, they looked like. And then my husband built them into the 
minifigure display. So we're now ready to make the costume shop. And you'll see in there, there, that's the room we're waiting to have finished up before we can move into the garage area. So I'm excited about that. And then if you come over here, Boone's Castle has taken over our table. I'm not sure what the cat's eating. We have spare Lego sets everywhere. And then if you come over here, you can see where the city was moved to just to put, kind of protect it from the cat because she can't really get around to these. And with the Lego sets behind it, she can't chew on it from behind. But unfortunately now it's become sort of a staging place for little tiny sets like my, my women in STEM sets and the, the teal brick and the women of NASA, which is still an awesome set, especially since uh, March right now is Women in History Month. And then if we just kind of look around a little bit, I've got some more Mills plates going. I've got more roads to make them with. I have some Amelia Earhart promos I haven't gotten to. The new brick sketches. And you'll just see a whole bunch of stuff here. All of our modules we haven't built yet. I have the friends that I'm going to turn into a module as well. And then just in case you wanted a little glimpse, here is the Millennium Falcon all lit up and Unfortunately, right now, this is its temporary home. So, yeah, so this is kind of where we are right now. Got the trains back there. I've got Town Hall back there. Oh, it's crazy. So I'm gonna clean this up and then I'll come back and maybe we'll have a little chitty chat chat about the goals for the city and where we're gonna go next. I am super excited to take this Disney castle and make it into the costume shop. I do have another one on its way as well. So in the city will be potentially be an official Disney castle and its costume shop. So we'll see. All right, let me get this place cleaned up just a bit so I have a place to sit and we'll talk a little more. Okay, so we have the table cleaned up and by cleaned up, I mean we actually just took everything and put it out of sight because I don't have anywhere to um, to disperse this stuff. I wish I could put up shelves. I know if you probably saw um, the, the walls, as I panned around, they look like I could put shelves up, but they're actually, um, I have an A-frame house, so everything is just slanted, so the shelves would look really funny um, and not very useful because I wouldn't be able to actually push anything up against them. So we're kind of just waiting. It's still kind of a waiting game. I would like to say by summer, um, we'll be in the garage. We don't need the garage. We're cleaning it out right now in preparation. Uh, it's going to be a really cool space, I think, and we just kind of got to play the waiting game because of everything that's happened in this last year. Um, the room that I showed you that we were working on just went so much more slowly. It was supposed to be done before Christmas, um, and just between lack of being able to get supplies in a timely manner and um, people to actually work and help my contractor, it just... It just definitely took way longer than he had anticipated and for everyone in the industry um, it's taking a lot longer to get construction stuff done but hopefully we'll be in there by summer i really want to get in before the summer waves hit and i definitely want to be in there for the fall for when we set up our winter village and obviously i want to get my city set up so we're taking the time right now though since we don't have an, a good table space i mean this yes this is my was my official city when you saw us in our first, like, how to set up a small city. Um, but quickly, you know, we quickly realized the cat was going to be an issue. Um, and then we have this Millennium Falcon now that is uh, like a third of the table. So we're using it as a workspace. Um, and that's okay. That's okay because it gave me an opportunity, like I mentioned in our last update, to really step back and take a look at how I want to grow the city and move it forward. And with that, we decided that we wanted to do um, three things, okay? So this is a goals video. This is the three goals. I don't have five fingers, there's no five. So three goals. Um, the first goal is that we wanted to create Mills plates for everything, okay? And this is a Mills plate, and I'm gonna do a video next on how to make one yourself. And it's just like an incredibly strong base plate for your modular. And people use them in all kinds of city building and any kind of mock building just because there's no bend there's no give to these they you know there's no warping um you it's solid so i wanted to, my city to have a solid foundation and i really felt like when i was picking these modules up and moving them back and forth to make space and 
and to use the table that everything just felt not as solid as I would like. And I think these are gorgeous as well. Obviously don't mind the colors here, you'll never see them, but they, you know, they're gonna interlock like this. And actually you can see we transferred over our first modular from the city. Here is the Palace Cinema. We retained the red base plate on the bottom so that it stayed with the original set. And then I chose to purchase red four by four plates, with the plates like you see on the top of here, just to match this since the interior of the Palace Cinema, the floors are not highly detailed. So the red is specific to this set. Um, now I'm gonna go over cost in another video because I think you'll be um, super, super surprised by the cost of this. Um, but anyway, we transferred it over and we're gonna have some tips and tricks if you already have modulars to transfer, already have built modulars on base plates. And if you want to use the base plate it's on to create your mills, because I've, obviously that's the cheapest way to go, or if you wanna retain the color, then we can show you how to transfer this fairly simply. My husband was working on this last night. Um, this is one of the easier ones because the floor is pretty bare inside on the bottom floor. There's just, um, really it's a lot of the sidewalk and then some counters and things inside. So it's not a whole lot. So we're gonna do one that is much more detailed so that we have a better, uh, better set of tips to share with you. But this is the uh, Palace Cinema on a Mills plate and it is, in, it is much stronger. You still aren't gonna pick it up by one corner. Um, you could, but wait, see there. I mean, you couldn't do this really very well with a base plate. It's heavy, so I wouldn't pick it up with one corner anyway, but I guess if you were a lot stronger than I am, maybe you would. But this will be our new system going forward. And that leads us to roads. What are we gonna do about roads? Because you clearly can't use the old style road plate, right? That's not gonna work. So we decided that we wanted to go with the new brick built style road that came out that you know everyone wasn't quite sure of, but as a mills plate, it works really well because I can actually widen the road myself with extra tiles on either side and I can create a white line and I can still have the same width sidewalk, which is six studs on um, this one as well. So I'm still trying to decide light gray, light blue gray or dark blue gray. I made a mistake with the orders. So, you know, if you have a, a vote, feel free to leave it in the comments. Um, Either one will work because I feel like the uh, sidewalks here on the on the modulars are tipped in the light blue gray, so pushing the light blue gray up to it looks nice, but the rest of the sidewalk for the modulars is dark blue gray, so putting the dark blue gray up to it looks nice as well. Obviously, it won't all be jumpers on one side and flat on the other, it's just what I happen to have right now. Um, so that is the second goal is to make all the road plates now match this mill system. And, you know, even when we add beaches and forests and ocean to the city in the future, they're all going to be on plates like this. And I, I particularly just love it. Um, it is a little bit of a matter of opinion. Some people uh, like them. Some people don't. Some people don't understand the cost that goes into them, which shh, is not a whole lot. Um, so I'm going to tell you about that because if you're letting costs get in your way, I don't think you should do that. So that's it. two goals, right? So we have, we got, we have mills. I have 16 mills plates or 16 materials worth of mills plates under this table in those bags. So we'll be able to do one for every modular that we put in, including that Disney mock that I was telling you about there. The castle is getting ready to be mocked into a costume shop. And then let's see, what is my last goal? My last goal is to light them up. So with the mills plate, it gives you a lot more room to thread the wiring through. So we do have, what did I buy? I bought this light tailing kit for the Parisian restaurant. So I think that the next thing we're going to do is transfer the Parisian restaurant and then put this into it. Uh, we saw the Millennium Falcon lit up and that's with a Bricks Max kit. So we're gonna kind of see which one we like better and move forward with those. I can't wait to get the Palace Cinema lit up. I don't have a set for that yet, but I will order one. Um, they, I looked on Amazon and the two, the two competing sets for this are both the same exact amount of money with pretty much the same kinds of reviews. So I'm not really sure which one I'm gonna pick. So maybe we'll do this one first 
and we'll see if we like this one over the other one. My husband seems to have the system down pretty well, but we also want to make sure that we're finding ways to hide the wires, um, connect them efficiently kind of thing. So not having a table to sort of move forward building the city on has allowed us to step back and really start the foundation of the growth of our city in a more positive way, in my opinion. Um, I don't want to end up with a huge table and wished I had done these things to start with because I want every building lit up in the city that there's a kit for and even the ones that aren't, I'm pretty sure we can figure something out once we get the hang of lighting things. And every uh, module is gonna have a mills plate, every uh, landscaping feature is going to have a mills plate. Uh, yeah, so those are, those are the goals. So this week in particular, so I kind of want to do a goals video each week. I'm going to do some sort of city update goals each week because I just think that keeps me accountable and it lets you see what happens when you're building a Lego city from the start and not just watching someone who has like two years or three years into a Lego city already. But you know, the road, the road to anything you do is never straight. The, your road in life, your path in life, it is not straight. It takes so many twists and turns. It backs up, um, it stops. And I feel like, you know, we were kind of on this path where we were adding modulars to the city and the table was filling up and looking nice. And then all of a sudden, you know, we had to make some decisions because I don't want the cat to eat the Lego sets, particularly things like these like little daggery things on top of the um, palace cinema here. She really likes, I don't know, she's trying to floss her teeth or something, but you know, I, I don't want her to, to destroy these either because you know, you, you know how much these things cost because they're not for sale anymore. So it's okay, I don't mind. And it gave us a chance to really, um, well, yeah, I mind her eating them, but I don't mind backing up and, and moving the city away. It showed me also that you can have a really nice city set up on a smaller space too. And I talked about that too, not to let it, uh, if you only have a small space and you don't have a table like this, to not let it incur, you know, to discourage you from actually going forward with a city. So I'm okay with all this because, you know, again, in life, things change, um, paths change, um, what you thought you wanted to do can change. It's okay to change and it's okay to accept it and be okay with it. So we had a lot of fun kind of like assessing the mills plate situation, building samples, um, and then just like sitting down and doing a massive order. And then if you saw the haul, I mean, there's like over 2000 pieces. But again, you'll be surprised by the cost, I guarantee you. Um, so that's kind of it for this uh, Lego City update. You know, I'm really excited to have uh, a modular transferred over. I feel like that is a big update for this. And the Palace Cinema is really just, definitely a beautiful module and I can't wait once we place each one in the city I'd like to go through and do kind of a review of each one from our perspective and where it kind of falls in our list of favorites we don't have them all built yet so I can't really say um, this is definitely the oldest one that we have that we built so far and in its entirety anyway the fire brigade is another whole mess so um oh yeah let's let's talk about the fire brigade for a minute because oh my goodness that was a new in box set okay like sealed tightly sealed not loosely sealed not new but open like you know you get those actually this set was new but opened okay the, the person went in it was a box it was heavily damaged check, check out the retired modular hall for that one uh the box was minorly damaged but it was heavily damaged that they had to open it and check the contents so <laughs> um yeah so this box was pristine like tight seals you know Ship from Bricklink. I didn't even order it on eBay this time. Um, anyway, my, you can hear my dog barking underneath. She wants to go for a walk. I'm trying to do this video before it gets in with you in here. So we imagine it's missing entire one of those like little bags that might be inside a big bag or just another little bag. I'm not sure. Yeah, they don't put little bags in those. Um, but we actually have uh, all sorts of pieces left over from bags one that don't even go with the set. They are not in the parts count. They are mostly Technic pieces. So it's clear that we got the wrong bag. <laughs> but unfortunately, um, this, this little bag contained a lot of stuff. There was 40 one by two dark blue gray uh, plates, which I had most of those anyway in my collection. Um, we did we do still need a few more because I think I exhausted 
what I could find pawing through bags and things. I'm sure we have more. And it also had like 30 one by two dark blue gray jumpers. And you know, you can't do much about that. I only had so many of those. They're not super common. So, and then there were the, the metallic gold helmets that are on the uh, decoration on the front. We, we don't have those. Luckily, those pieces are about 28 cents a piece on BrickLink. Uh, I can't get those from missing pieces on lego.com anymore because the set is old. It's, uh, so it's just kind of funny. It was a little, you know, it's tough when you spend, I think that set cost us $385. It is super tough when you spend that money and, you know, you just don't have the pieces that you need to build it and you want to enjoy the experience and you're searching for pieces and at first my husband just thought oh well i'm not seeing them but then it became clear he's like but i can't be seeing like not seeing like 50 pieces here so we're gonna work on um i'm gonna contact lego and talk to them and then kind of see what we need to purchase from where to get that finished up so i feel like my good deal just kind of went down the drain because um shipping you know the two 28 cent fire helmets are probably going to cost me seven dollars to ship to me and <laughs> okay um but we want to get it you know put together so yeah so we have those are our goals for the week um we're going to just chip away at transferring over the um uh, modulars that we have built which are the diner the bookshop assembly square and the parisian restaurant so maybe we can update you on that next week I just placed two orders for Brickling parts for the roads. Um, so I'm hoping that we can get those in and sorted in a, in a timely fashion. And I do have enough to make about 10 road plates coming. I won't need that many right now, but I felt like for the future, why not have them? And uh, maybe we'll dabble around with the light tailing kit. I'm not sure my husband has to work this weekend. So he's, uh, he's in the army and this is a weekend for him. So. Yeah, so that's it. That's updates. That's goals. That's that's Lego City building life, I guess, when you're starting out. Um, you know, this isn't my full-time gig. I'd love for it to be. Maybe one day it will. I'm lucky I work from home anyway with my website so that I can kind of stop and check out the city for a minute, um, that kind of thing. So yeah, let me know what your, what your thoughts are on Lego Cities in the comments. What do you think we should do next what do you think you want to see from us as lego city builders i'm open to lots of suggestions i'd love to create this um a little bit with you obviously it's it's still going to be my city but i love to hear suggestions because maybe it's not something i've thought of but it's super cool too so yeah, make sure you comment rexy do you want them to comment <laughs> all right so like subscribe comment, I do all that good stuff and help us move into the future with our Lego City updates and things. And I'll see you in the next video. Happy building, have fun, have a good uh, rest of the day and we'll talk soon. Bye.